Hey guys, happy Saturday, rainy Saturday. Or at least for me, if you're on the East Coast, it is raining all day. Flooding, floodings and flooding in certain areas. Maybe, maybe not. All of those things. But guys, I pulled out the the archetype cards, right? I was looking on my shelf and I said, what haven't I used? So the archetype cards basically will describe your person and their light attributes, like what they're good at and all of this stuff, and then also their shadow attributes. All right, guys. So let's see what's going on with the person on your mind. Don't forget when we get to tarot, the energy can flip. Anybody can come into the reading. It's, you know, different energy and stuff like that. All right, so let's see. Who are you dealing with? Uh, and who's dealing with you, baby? Who's dealing with you? Holy Spirit, for the collective, what do they need to know about their person, in their light, and in their chateau? Guys, I know sometimes I get preachy preachy over here. And it's just my opinion, but you can really do what you want. I just don't like anyone, man or woman, to fall for the okie doke when it comes to relationships. I don't want you to get skull dragged and think that this person loves you as much as you love them. I don't want you to find yourself waiting on a man. I don't want you to find yourself waiting on a woman thinking that they're going to leave the person that they're with or they're going to do this and do that. Do not be in a relationship to where you just text all day long, uh, but they never call. To me, someone who texts you all day long and they never pick up that phone to call, to me, that's a red flag. That means they can't pick up that phone and call you. That means somebody is within distance and they can't call you or they're on somebody else's cell phone plan. I don't know. I don't know. But if they can't pick up the phone and call you, that's a problem. Right? All right. So, that's just me. It doesn't make it true. But that's just me. And that's how I, I, I try to think. I think outside of the box, right? Most people think normally and this and that. And, no, but he's good and she's great and this and that. And he loves me and she loves me. And he texts me all the time and she texts me all the time. And yada, 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 yada. That means nothing in the scheme of things. If y'all not hanging out, if you've been hanging on for years to a person that has not left that person, even if they're married, right, and they separated that person, when you separate and divide and you leave that house, you can date other people, right? If that doesn't happen, guys, they're probably not going to leave that person, but they'll string you along. As long as you allow yourself to be strong, they will string you. Don't allow yourself to be strong. Don't be the second woman. Don't be the second man. Don't be a waiter. Don't be sitting at home twiddling your thumbs all up in your head thinking about this is the one. That's not the one. The one shows up and show out. Don't make it known. No secrets. Don't make it known. All right, guys. I digress. Because I get beside myself. Anyway, let's do it. Because I believe we're friends here. We're cousins. We're relatives, right? So I'm going to tell my family. I'm going to be like, F him. F her. Who the F do they think they are, right? That's just me. So I try to help you out. Because most people, you're at home by yourself most of the time, right? All up in your head. Not wanting to share this stuff. But anyway. I'm opinionated. Holy Spirit, what's going on for the collective? I may not say this word right, but it's a martyr, a martyr, a martyr. I think that's it. In their life attribute, this person is learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. So in their light attribute, they are of service to like a certain cause. They like to give. They like to help. They like to do this. But they also do that for themselves, right? But in their shadow attribute, they are they have an addiction to self-pity. 
So although they are so great and they give to others and they support others and this and that and they think they're great and that's great, but they have self-pity. So they come down on themselves when things don't go right. It's like they come down on themselves when, oh, I should have did this and I forgot to do that. It's like it's self-pity. And then sometimes that can become annoying, right? Because it's my fault if I didn't get I should have did this and blah, 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 blah. So they are good hearted. They do support other people, but they have self pity. They blame themselves for everything, right? And then we have a virgin. And their light attribute maintaining symbolic purity of heart and spirit. And their shadow attribute they have a fear of intimate union. So basically, this is a great person, lighthearted, sweet. Uh, they are of spirit. Uh, they're pure, right? They're pure. They're dainty. They're clean. But in their shadow, they have a fear of intimate union, meaning they're going to keep texting you because anything more than that makes it intimate. Anything more than that pulls them closer. You have to give to receive. Some people don't want that. Maybe they've been hurt before. I don't know. But they block that, right? Some, some Someone is blocking that. Let's get one more. And then we have the Samaritan. Hmm. And their light attribute refines, your, refines their capacity to help those they would prefer to ignore. So they will help people, even the people that annoy them, even the people that they really don't want to help because every time they help them, the person goes back and do the same thing. Well, this person will still help them, right? They will still help people that they just rather ignore, but they still do it anyway because that's the goodness in them. But then in their shadow, they exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. So it's like, if they help you, they want to feel the appreciation from the person that they helped. They want recognition for what they've done. Like they want to be put up on a pedestal. Like so-and-so paid my light bill this month, but they want you to tell the world that they helped you, right? So basically this person is a do-gooder, but however, if they do good for you, you better shout to the masses, right? Because they want everybody to know what they did and how great I am. So find out which person is yours, right? Maybe all of them is yours, right? Because the martyr and the Samaritan pretty much sound the same. And then they just basically have a fear of intimacy. So they don't want to get close, close. Closer than close. Mm -mm. They want to keep you on the phone. They want to text you. But they don't want to sit close and hold hands and let your legs touch each other. You know, if you're sitting down or something like that. They don't want that. They don't want it. All right, guys. What's going on in your relationship? Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it, Spirit says. Page of Wands. Somebody is active, making moves, happy about it, joyous, excited about moving forward in their life. Uh, maybe they have somewhere to go, right? Somebody happy. They're doing hopscotch down the road. All right. Holy Spirit. Ooh, somebody from your past. So... Maybe somebody from your past is on their way back to you, right? It's somebody that you've been knowing, whether you dated this person or not. It's somebody that's coming back. They have memories. They're reminiscing. They want that old thing back, right? Right. Somebody from your past, they're going to make a visit into your life. Now, something could be unbalanced with this person's energy or they could be dealing with some things that are just unbalanced in their life. Or this person is coming back to you to balance things, to fix things, to make things more equal, right? Make the playing field equal. But they are excited about going forward. Maybe they're excited to come and tell you their truth. They definitely have something they want to get off their chest, right? 
that was a secret or done behind your back. So someone wants, definitely wants to come and tell you their truth. They're releasing their devilish energies or any addictions that they have or any people that they were addicted to. They're, they're releasing those energies. They're not letting the devil play up in their head and their thoughts and all of that stuff. So they're letting that go. And they're happy. This person is happy with themselves. Maybe they want to be happy with you and they're coming back, right? To fix things. But there's something about this person, guys, that's a little off. They're, they're unbalanced right now. Their temperance is in, is in reverse. So they're feeling a little unbalanced. Right? They're feeling a little unbalanced. And they do have secrets. So, and I think the secrets come with whatever this devil was. Right? Whatever this was. Whatever they're trying to leave in the past. Whatever they're trying to let go of. Trying to get that little voice up out of their head. Right? So they do have some secrets there. You're the Queen of Cups. You make this person happy. Either that or they're the Queen of Cups and they're trying to come back to you because you make them happy, right? Feel free to flip. Holy Spirit, where is this person going so excitedly with this Page of Wands here? They're excited. They're excited and they're hopeful. So I guess when this person does come back to you guys, when they reach out, they're excited about it. They're hopeful about it. Nine of Pentacles. You could be single. They're definitely considering themselves to be single. Maybe that's why they're so excited. How the Spirit clarify the Six of Cups? Who is returning from the past and why? Justice. They want to balance things with you guys. Same thing with that Six of Pentacles in reverse. They could have been given to other people. Maybe they want to get another chance with you to try to fix things. And they're not up in their head about it. So somebody wants to come back. They want to fix things. They may have a fear of intimacy. Who the hell knows, right? Six of Pentacles in reverse. So something is unbalanced with the queen of pentacles in reverse this person could be angry they could be mean because the queen of pentacles in reverse don't play so they could be changing and walking away from this person here maybe because things are unbalanced see and they're not in hangman so they're walking away from a queen of pentacles queen of pentacles who are you right who are you to this person the magician that person is standing in their power no matter what, their own personal power. Holy Spirit, clarify the magician. And they're ending things. So whoever this queen is, she or he or she, they're standing in their power, right? They're, they're, they're standing in their own personal power. Maybe that situation with this person is unbalanced and they're choosing to walk away. Because they're not in hangman about it. Holy Spirit, what is this person's truth? Seven of Swords in reverse. What is their truth? What do they want to come and say to you, right? Two of Wands in reverse. That they're definitely ending something. They're not given to something anymore because of infidelity. They could have been cheated on. They could have been manipulated. Somebody misused their, you know, their energies, their powers, their whatever. They misused somebody. This is a childish person. Be careful. Maybe they cheated on you, right? I don't know. Maybe they want to tell you about the situation they was in. I don't know. Maybe their person was cheating on them and that's why they're coming back to you. That I hope they don't say that to you because that's not a good reason to come back. You coming back to me because your person cheated on you. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Because I'm going to tell you what would go on in my mind if somebody said that to me. 
you're only coming back to me because your person played you. Which means you're not really into me. You just want me to feel bad for you. Right? I, no, that, that's not how you re-enter into somebody's life. You're going to sit there and tell somebody I'm coming back to you because my girl played me or my man played me. Well, good luck with that. Right? Heal. That shouldn't be why anyone is going back to anybody. And I told you this person's energy is unbalanced. Holy Spirit, clarify this temperance in reverse. They're swimming away to calmer waters. So I guess you're the calmer waters. The hell? And this person is still healing. That's why their energy is still off. Because they're still healing from heartbreak. But they want to come to you so you can heal that wound. But see, here's the thing. You'll let somebody in. You'll patch they ass up. And then they'll leave you. You know why? Because you were the fallback. You were the fallback person. Holy Spirit, clarify this devil in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. This person has a fear of change. Yeah, lovers in reverse as well. They do have a fear of change. Maybe they didn't want to lose this person. Holy Spirit, moon card in reverse. The secret is they're ending on Hierophant. They're ending a connection. So I don't know if you knew if your person was in a connection. If you didn't, you know now. They were in a connection and now they're moving on. Brand new beginnings, brand new start. So for some of you, you didn't know that this person was in a connection. And they're going to come back and they're going to tell you, I was in a connection and she played me or he played me and, and now that's why I'm coming back to you. The hell? Holy Spirit, clarify the sun card. Three of wands in reverse. It's like... They want to be happy, but they're afraid to move on pretty much, right? They may even have a family with this person, Ten of Cups. It's like they want to be happy, they want their Ten of Cups, but they're afraid to move on. This person is deceptive. Guys, this person is still stuck on that person. They're still there mentally. They're still there mentally. They have not quite left that person. They're afraid to. They have a fear of change. They were happy with this connection, right? And that's why they haven't left. They're unsure. They haven't taken any steps forward, this and that. This was their Ten of Cups. But when they come to you, they may lie to you, right? Page of Swords in reverse. And they may come and tell you that you're their Ten of Cups. Guys, be careful, because if you're this queen of cups, you're a loving person, and sometimes you're just going to accept things, you know, as is. Stop doing that. So, yeah, they're going to make you a love offer, for sure. But when I tell you that this person still has secrets, and the secret is, their heart is still there. They're afraid to leave that person. They don't want things to be over with that person. But that person cheated on them. So that's why they're coming to you. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Guys, they're going to come in and they're going to say, you're my love, all of these things. Be careful. It's all I have to say about this one. Be careful because their heart is still with their ex. Had that ex not played on them or played them or whatever, they wouldn't be reaching out to you. Mm. Don't fall for the okie doke. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.